In our last video, we did an introduction and talked about each of the different types of annotation groups. And that was done from a DGN library that is delivered with the Imperial workspace or the metric workspace. But what if I wanted to put some of these annotation groups into my particular DGN library where I can customize for my environment? I've opened up the annotations for plan and it doesn't matter which one I open here, the process is the same. But there's two icons in here, one for importing annotations and one for exporting annotations. Well, let's say that I want to put this annotation group of plan linear stationing into my particular agency's standards DGN library. I can select to export the annotation for this particular entry, plan linear stationing. And so I'm going to select that. And I'm just going to put it in the same working folder that I've been working in. But I want to give it a name. And this, this name is helpful because when you go to create, you actually have to manually create the folder and the name. And then you come into that entry and then you import. So I'm going to give this a name called Plan Linear Stationing. And I can take everything else out. So Plan Linear Stationing. So that's the exact folder and name that I want to recreate. And so we will save that XML file, close the manager, and then I'm going to go open the DGN lib from the particular agent, which needs to be the same DGN library where their feature definitions are. And we're going to talk about that in the next video. So we'll select their feature definitions. And of course, there's not going to be any annotations in here yet. So we're going to go down to the groups and plan and linear and remember I said the name was kind of key here and so we're going to make a new entry here give it the same name and you can rename it later but I recommend keeping it the same name at the beginning for the import process then we're going to manage by right click and then you just select the other icon which is import and then you're going to have then the plan linear stationing XML file, you select open, and then all of the entries are exactly the same then as they were in that other DGN library. You've now brought that forward to this particular DGN library. And so this is a way to transfer that information from one DGN library to another, or even back things up. Maybe you have slight changes between uh, departments, so you want to bring in the bulk of it. And this is a quick way to bring things in and out of DGN libraries. It's very handy. So the last step in all of this annotation is to learn how to then apply these annotation group names to the feature definitions so that when we sheet things that the annotations will take place. And we will learn that in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.